Sorel Gar MD, how to diagnose pneumonia on chest x-ray. So what did you guys think? You thought by clicking this link that I would give away all my secrets for free? Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But since I'm doing you a solid, you got to do me a solid. And like, share, comment, or subscribe. Preferably, all the above. Here we go, case one, cough and shortness of breath, young male. In order to understand abnormal, you first have to understand normal. These are the pulmonary vessels. You can see that they're branching as you come out to the periphery, and they're getting smaller and smaller coming out to the pleural edge here. So that's a normal finding. This right here, this is the shadow of the right lower lobe pulmonary artery. This is not pneumonia. This is never pneumonia. Uh, I've seen too many people overcall this as pneumonia. You have to understand this is a normal structure in the lung. The reason you don't see it as well on the left is because you have the heart border on the left. So let's look here in the left lung base. I don't know if people appreciate it, but there is this ill-defined airspace opacity here. And this is a pneumonia. This is what we would call the retrocardiac pneumonia. If you look very closely right here, you can actually see a faint air bronchogram. And that only shows up if the surrounding lung is filled with fluid. Here's a lateral chest x-ray. A lot of people are not sure what to look for on a lateral chest x-ray, but let's just go ahead and show you a great example of the spine sign. As you follow the spine down, it should get more and more loosened as you come down. In this person's case, that's not the case. And you're seeing this airspace opacity overlying the spine, definitely here. So this is a left lower lobe pneumonia or a retrocardiac pneumonia. All right, here you go, case two, 60-year-old male with cough and shortness of breath. I wish they all looked like this. It takes only about a millisecond for my eye to go right here and make the diagnosis of pneumonia or airspace disease. But is there more to the picture than just that? One of the things about being a radiologist is not just making the diagnosis, but thinking about the patient. This person's older. He may have a smoking history. This pneumonia may in fact be a post-obstructive process and maybe due to cancer. I'm actually seeing this line here very nicely. This is the minor fissure. This separates the right upper lobe from the right middle lobe. You can see it's actually being pulled up and retracted in a cephalad manner or towards the head. So here is this person's CT performed one month afterwards after being on antibiotics. You can see that the airspace opacity persists. You can see there's a lot of ground glass opacity surrounding this. And you can see there's kind of a dense mass-like uh, structure here immediately, which is narrowing the airways right here. And here is this gentleman's PET CT scan confirming a pretty large hypermetabolic mass. All this stuff lighting up is basically cancer. You can see it's encroaching on the airway. And you can see there's associated adenopathy here in the subcranial regions and some other adenopathy in the mediastinum. This is a lung cancer that was picked up by a radiologist originally diagnosed as a pneumonia. Okay, the last patient. This patient was seen in the setting of a drug overdose. The person that catches my eye is the lungs are overall a little more busy, a little more opacity than normal. But looking in the lung bases, I can see a normal branching of the pulmonary vasculature. Here on the left, I'm seeing this lobular airspace opacity. And this is concerning for aspiration pneumonia in the setting provided. So here I have the coronal CT that was performed shortly after this chest x-ray. And now you can kind of match up the extensive airspace opacity, this aspiration pneumonia that's here. And you can match up what it looks like and how much you're missing on the chest x-ray. If this looks easy, it's because radiologists make this look easy. It's anything but easy. It's actually very hard. So if you still have questions, you know how to contact me, Sorelgar MD. Thank you for watching. Take care.